ministers at Westminster today ruled out any similar changes in England, but the health minister here, Vaughan Gethin, said he'd taken the decision because of what he said were a large number of coronavirus cases imported into Wales. Boy, a load of fucking shit. It can turn up to a bit, please, Dad. Passengers on this flight from Zafinfos back to Cardiff Airport on Tuesday night only found out in mid-air that everyone returning from the yeah. island would have to self-isolate for 14 days. <laughs> it comes a week after at least... It's fucking like nonsense, isn't it? ...the same reef holding island that is positive for coronavirus. Is there any wonder of why I drink? It's in this fucking shit. No, but now for the first time, the Russian government has changed from day to day. Well, now we're doing well. In certain countries and territories, that they say constitute a risk to public health here. 14 day quarantine will now be required for mainland Portugal, Gibraltar. It's just nonsense. It's nonsense. It kills less people than the flu. I know. It's just nonsense. Regulation will come into force at 4 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, so they're still doing that. Are they from 4 a.m.? So you tell me something about this. This is something like three weeks ago. Where people in one part of the country could not isolate, but the other part could isolate. Do you remember? Some, some of that, wasn't it? If they landed at 3 a.m. or atmosphere, they didn't have to basically. But if you landed at 4 a.m., they had to basically. Mm. That makes sense, huh? Yeah. Cheers. And I'm drinking Sing Tao, yeah? A Chinese beer. I probably I probably shouldn't be drinking this because in mm. case I I I catch Corona uh, COVID nineteen. And Dan, first of all, just run run us through what this means. Well, as Nick was saying, these new countries or territories have been applied in Wales, mainland Portugal, Azores, or Madeira, Gibraltar, French Polynesia, and those six Greek islands. So if you're returning to the returning to Wales. From one of those places, then you'll have to. It's nonsense. <clears throat> it's a total overreaction to a virus that kills less people than the flu. Or if you ask me person, personally, I don't think he even exists. Hmm. It's all <clears throat> one political agenda controlled from the New World Order. And as you touched on there, different to England, potentially quite confusing. What's what? going on behind the scenes? Well, what the, the actual fuck? The week, Paul Gething talked about how he would much rather a consistent message across the UK. In other words, no, we're not England just that. The same policy. He hoped that it's a load of fucking mm. shit. UK ministers, for whatever reason, so it is. It's an overreaction. He made a statement tonight, Mr. Gething, talking about the evidence presented across the Well, I still think it's a load of shit. The Security Centre, that's a UK government body or a body set up by the UK government, an expert advice on how to control COVID. It's on that basis that How much have you had? However, when Chapman's Secretary made his announcement that no changes were made, he too pointed to the evidence from the Joint Biosecurity Centre. So you have two governments looking at the same basis, the same evidence. Two governments looking at the same evidence. Okay, Gavin, thanks very much indeed. Thanks, Steve. Quarantine measures come into force as the director of the <clears throat> Test Trace Protect program for the Cardiff <clears throat> University Health Board warns about the importance of self isolation after an increase in COVID clusters in recent weeks. If someone does test positive, staff at the centre have to alert anyone they've been in contact <clears throat> with and tell them to stay indoors for two weeks. <laughs> How the system works. Look at him, that fucking drone, and another one. Fuck. 
Uh, hey, Dad, I feel sorry for the human race. The human race has become totally pathetic. Oh, we will be afraid of a virus. What, a virus? They're just from the same family as the flu. And we've always had the flu. Mm -hmm. I'd rather just get piss on beer. People working here at this call centre in Cardiff are trained to contact those who have tested positive for COVID-19, but also importantly, those that they have been in contact with. They get advice on the next steps for keeping themselves safe and also for protecting other people. And the director in charge of this operation is warning mm. that coronavirus has not gone away and people must follow the guidelines. Of course, they must follow the guidelines like good little children. If you do not become a good little child, you will become punished, you naughty little child. You must wear a mask, you must self-isolate, you must keep social distance, you must wash your hands until the red roll with all that sticky, gooey hand sanitizers. I can't stand them, see? You know? That. But of the 50, the majority are in South Wales, 11 in the Caerphilly local authority area, 10 in Bridgend and 5 in Cardiff. This graph shows the daily rates in <coughs> and Caerphilly will up to the end of August. You can see the spikes in places like Glasgow Fuck. and Manchester have been much more significant. At this track and trace centre and others like it across Wales, the message is simple. The threat from COVID-19 remains, and it's up to all of us to stop the rates increasing. I think it's a clear message that COVID has not gone away, and um, we are going to have to coexist with it. Exactly. It is on, isn't it, Dad? It's all the nonsense. In centres like this, and attempts to reach those who may unknowingly be putting their family and others at risk of COVID-19 if they don't self <coughs> The chairman of the Welsh Rugby Union says the Principality Stadium has started to be decommissioned from the field hospital. Well, of course, it's never been used. The Dragon's Heart Hospital is... They expected hundreds of thousands of people. It's never happened, is it? How oh, oh come? Because of the virus, is it? Can be staged in Don't you understand what they're talking about? No. An ex-therapist at Betsy Kidwalladis... The rugby ground was put, was organised as a hospital for people with a virus. Yeah, so it's COVID-19. Yeah. It's never been used. Because it, it doesn't it exist, happened. so... Yeah, because it, it doesn't exist, so nobody came down with it. And that's why it's empty. Is that why? Probably, is it? Yeah. I would arrive at work and not be able to go into the office because I felt so ill. I, I came to the toilet, I was vomiting, I lost a great deal of weight. A dentist who was secretly stalked by a disgruntled former patient says he feels let <coughs> down by the law after learning the man would be released from prison within weeks. He has badly followed his former dentist for nearly four years without him ever knowing and was found with what was described as a murder kit in his car less than a mile from the home of his victim. The Home Affairs oh. correspondent, Jenny Reese reports. Why would anyone stalk a dentist? It's not as if he's a famous a, a celebrity, is it? Mm. The fuck? Who's gone mad? Why stalk a dentist? Why a dentist? He's not a famous person. He's just a local fucking dentist. Mm. What the fuck? And the next reveal that Thomas Bradley oh, I need whiskey. I need whiskey. I need... <clears throat> he was found less than a mile from his... I need some after washing this a bollocks. Why would they must talk a dentist, guys? Because he's so grieved about something, right? The father what? He grieved. Oh, so it's a personal thing, mm. is it? Well, of course it is. 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 Of course it is
Of course. Well, it must be. Why else would you talk a fucking dentist? I'm not kidding, yeah. Whatever. Please comment. Please subscribe. And please don't hesitate to like this fuck you. Oh, fuck's sake.